Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, this is a quick uh, review at the docking station for the GDB13 and if you should get one or not. Now, uh, it has some uh, functionality that's actually useful and some of them uh, I personally don't need, uh, but so, uh, so far, let's just show you how it looks like. It, it does have these small vents over here. It has these uh, three USB and an HDMI output for your TV and you have uh, the ether uh, net port so what you have to do here you just put the gdb13 here on the docking station once it's docked uh, if you want to use the hdmi directly to uh, plug in into the tv this is going to help uh, transfer the signals of the screen into the tv and you can play on a big screen uh, this is one of the beneficials it has also multiple usb so if you can connect multiple usb because the uh, the machine itself here does have only one and one for a charging USB-C so if you want to like connect a keyboard and a mouse uh, for example for your TV for example if you dock the station here at the GDB and you have one for uh, output for, for the, your keyboard and a mouse you can use it on your TV straight away you can do that so that's one of the benefits um, also you have the Ethernet port but also you can use it as charging like for example you have the smartphone we have the Motorola here if you use this to the uh, to charge the Motorola, first you have to take off the uh, screen protector, and you land this guy over here. And once you open it, okay, so that actually connect here. Now the question is, does it fast charge? Um, so what I did, what happened? see it's fast it's charging right now it's not fast charging it's just charging so it does not charge like uh, what I've noticed it does have the fast charging capabilities but when it comes to the uh, current chipset like for example the Mate 20X which I posted a video how to do it it does charge the Mate 20X fast charging but some Snapdragon phones does not work here or not compatible so just charge the phone slowly There's normal charging ways. We just take out the phone. I mean, be careful because it's uh, let me just put it again. Here we can see. Okay, so wait a wait a second guys. So I just open it and connect it again and I found something very interesting check this out it says turbo charger so it charges wait a second it does charge Motorola fast so that's a turbo charge over here that's actually pretty good let me just show you closely here you can see turbo charge turbo power connected so, the, so it does charge uh, the phone is in a fast uh, matter. That's a good good news because I did try it before and didn't work, but now I think it's working fine. Um, sometimes a hit or miss, but for me now it's working, and uh, with the current chipset it does work. So I confirmed that. Now we have Snapdragon 865 works here, as you can see, as a turbocharger, and with the uh, Huawei Mate uh, 20X uh, or the current chipset. Um, so. The build quality is plastic, so it's you need to be careful with the build quality. It's very plasticky, but uh, it's very functional. Um, also, one of the best things that I can use this is charging the GDB13. So this is GDB13. Instead of charging the phone here, I have to put it on the back. So if it's running, it's going to have a hard time sucking the air from here to pull it out because you're going to put it like this. You're not, you're not going to stand it all anyways possible so the best way to charge it I would say you put it on the docking station and you connect the USB type C on the back here you connect the type C uh, what is it this is okay here connected as you can see it's connected it's charging um, and then you can use the airflow here to pull the air out without no issues so you can work at the same time while it's connected this is most likely the best, uh, most important functionalities. If you have any questions, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Take care. See you in another video.